What a shocking moment. Hey, hey, hey. I can't believe Nigerians. Nigerians, I cannot believe. I know no say this thing can happen like this. Come on. Wake up, Nigeria. Wake up. Nigeria is doing it greatly, fantastically, mightily, all over the world. People are bowing. People are getting to see that name as a great name. Wake up. Oh, God, I did not believe this can happen. I did not believe. When I come here and I'm doing my videos, telling you that Nigeria is overthrowing China in technology. Nigeria is overthrowing Japan. Nigeria is overthrowing other countries. Nigeria is becoming one of the top biggest countries in the world in technology. And you think I'm joking? I'm not joking. I'm not a joke. I'm not joking, guys. This one, this one, have, come on. Guy, you have to, you have to realize, people need to, you know the thing is, people need to wake up and realize where Nigeria is today. People need to realize where Nigeria is today. Many Nigerians don't know where Nigeria is today. Many Nigerians don't know. See, Nigeria is so powerful, so great that everywhere Nigeria goes, anything Nigeria gets involved in, they are the best. You understand? What am I even talking about? Look at the example of this Mr. International that just passed. You saw the videos, right? Mr. International. There was Ghana, there was Kenya, there was South Africa, there was the Philippines. It was world, Mr. World. Only Nigeria in Africa made an impression. I even came out top three in the world. Only Nigeria. Top three in the world. Obviously the best in Africa. So that is the level Nigeria is playing this game. But that's just an example I'm giving you. I've said it here multiple times that Nigeria will overthrow all your best countries that you think they are the best in technology. Nigeria is the new tech leader in the world. People don't agree. Hmm? People don't agree. And the things are happening consistently. Consistently. How did it start? It started by Europeans and Americans coming to Nigeria to come and select all the smart tech children. You will just hear say, oh, this boy graduated from this school. He is the best in coding. One European country will just come and collect. It goes to the point where European countries that cannot collect, we're now just outsourcing the work to Nigerian tech boys. The Nigeria was generating over $50 billion from uh, virtual workers, people who are in Nigeria working for America, working for Europe in tech. Yes, over $50 billion. I, go and find out. From there, it got to the point where they say, no, we have to come to Nigeria and establish our own factories. Establish our own companies. Microsoft came, Facebook came, Google came, all of them. They built headquarters for Nigeria. Because they discovered the potential. He still didn't end there. Guess what? They now say, no, we need to start going to Nigeria to go and establish factory, to go and build schools, build co companies that will be tech oriented. And guess what? Nigeria is now the fastest growing tech country in the world with Lagos, Nigeria being the fastest growing tech city in the world over China, over Europe, over America, over that's your favorite country that you think is the best. Hmm? We call Nigeria is, that, is in that position. So Nigeria has proven itself big and worthy at every dimension. And guess what is happening now? Nigerians are now going into competition in the tech field. Just like we used to celebrate, oh, Nigeria won English competition against UK, Canada, America. I will be celebrating. At least that one a man language. You understand? That one a person language. So, Nigeria going into a tech competition with kids from China, 
America, Japan, and the rest of the world. And then if Nigeria can even be amongst the best, <laughs> then you suppose bow for them now. You suppose you, you suppose you suppose they worship Nigeria. You suppose they celebrate them. You suppose they grateful. And so this is what I think Nigerians have not yet realized, especially the critics, because criticism about the country, criticism talking down on Nigeria is more sweet and it's more appealing. So many Nigerians and people out there are yet to wake up and realize the enormous potentials that Nigeria has. But like I always say, the Chinese are not, are not ignorant. We are the ones who are ignorant. We Africans and even some Nigerians, we are the ones who are ignorant about Nigeria's potentials. But Chinese know they are already taking advantage of it. America knows they are already taking advantage of it. Europeans know they are already taking advantage of it. So now we now do they yeah, they do up and down Nigeria no good, Nigeria no good. Wake up, wake up. Now let me shock you with some real stats, some real things that just happened recently. Hmm? I don't go believe. So two Nigerian girls, two, they went into a global technology competition. When I say global technology competition, I mean is a tech is a competition that involves the whole world. So everybody, every country that qualified or made it to the competition was there. Like the World Cup of Technology. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. The World Cup of Technology. Every country will go prove and DSA with no tech. So two Nigerian girls. And that was this year, 2025. So it was Technovation Global Summit. Technovation Global Summit. 2025 you can go and verify if you think we are joking you understand so they had to design apps with ai do so many of these tech tech things you know you know today you don't need somebody like a web designer to design to build you an app anymore there are ais that can build you apps so they had all of these going on and these nigerian children were supposed to prove it so the prodigy is 10 years old young children 10 years old just imagine, can your 10 year old child travel out of Nigeria or even go and sit in a global competition and do something? That's the challenge I'm putting to you. 10 year old went into global competition. Omo, I go fear Nigeria. So the 10 year old were Akachuku Blessed, Mwachukuku, uh, Mwachuku, and Ifunanya Gabriela Okoye. Ifunanya Gabriela Okoye. So both of them are from Portacot. Yeah, they're from Portacot, that's a river state, you know. So they, they, it's, a, it's a team, they have to work together as a team. So they developed a stay woke and AI powered mobile app. 10 years old, they developed the app, a stay woke and AI powered mobile app that uses facial recognition and voice to interact or to detect driver fatigue in real time and issue alert to prevent accident. Oh boy, 10 year old. <laughs> See, as I just scratched my head, I don't even, I don't even know what, to, I'm reading it, I don't even know what to say about it. So basically they developed an app hmm, that will, from your voice and from your face, in case you are driving or you are, you can have the app and you use it on your driver. You will know if that driver is tired or is competent enough to continue driving, you know, so that it will reduce the risk of accidents and every other challenge that you may face on your journey. That's what these children developed. And you bear with me that it's important, especially in Africa, because many drivers overwork themselves, get tired, but keep going. They don't stop. But how will you know? These children are coming up with a solution for you. So competing as a team, absolute, they do outshine and they were the best. They beat everybody. They win against people from Japan. They win against people from Spain. They win against people from Canada, from Peru, to clinch the world title of champ of, of the competition grand finale. They won the prize. They are the best. 10 year old, 
the best in the world, 10 years old. So Technovation, the world's largest tech entrepreneurship program for girls. The world's largest entrepreneurship program for girls. And it recorded over 33,000 participants from 117 countries around the world. You understand? With 11,000 completing the program and more than 3,200 tech-based solutions developed. Good day, Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. See what you other Nigerians they do. Go and brave up. Go and wake up. And get ready to do your own. Because you too, or your child, can become the next story. And Nigeria's name will continue to be celebrated. And we will continue to be proud of the great Nigeria. It is what it is. Your boy, Ajay Max, is on this one again. Smash the like button. Smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free, guys. Because... There's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheese.